Hey there, this is your Legends VRT, Win and Conquer. We are here to tell you about hashtags today. So, as you're going through, um, for instance, right here, we got Instagram. Uh, hashtags are something that you're going to see throughout different posts. You're going to go along through there. There's going to be hashtags sometimes in the actual post. Sometimes you're going to find them on profiles, such as ours right here. You're going to see all the different images that are related to that specific hashtag. As you scroll through, they're not necessarily going to be all from the same person. Of course, hashtags can be used by anybody for whatever nefarious deeds they may choose to use them for. Uh, a lot of people can include them in the next comment after the initial post. That seems to be a very popular way. Uh, a lot of times we include about mm, 20 to you know 29 hashtags. You don't want to hit 30 all the time or else you could end up being included in spam. So some of the things that you might be interested in, that's what Instagram is going to show you and it bases a lot of that off hashtags that you may have used or looked for. Uh, as you go in, you can type for specific hashtags. You're going to see that there's going to be a bunch of results that may or may not be related to what you're trying to find and they all have something to do with what you typed in. So this is an opportunity to find a lot of different content. Some of it's going to pertain to what we're doing and some of it is not. Um, especially depending on which kind of uh, civilian content you might be looking at. It could be highly variable as far as whether it's useful or even appropriate. So always be careful when you're looking through your hashtags, double check everything that you're using. Hashtags, you know, you don't want to just use one indiscriminately. You want to make sure that you're not leading to somebody over to inappropriate content. We are a family friendly organization. So. Like I said, there's all sorts of different hashtags out there. You can use ones that are already used, you can make up new ones, you can adapt, figure out new ways to reach everyone, go to different posts, click their hashtags, see what kind of things they have available uh, for use. Um, other programs that we have, or platforms rather, use hashtags as well. One of them uses them extensively is Twitter. As you go through Twitter, you're going to, well, most people use this for news. So you're going to see a lot of relevant, highly relevant hashtags that are related to things that are going on right now at this minute. Um, they change daily, so you can't just use the same hashtag all the time and expect the same results because people are eventually going to move on. Uh, and they re have a resurgence, but a lot of times they really don't. Uh, some people stick with specific hashtags. Um, and then even right here, you can see when you go through uh, those hashtags that they're using the most are going to lead people to them. You can check out people, photos, uh, videos, news, depending on the hashtag and what, how it's used or who's using it, you may or may not find any type of results. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not useful for those different applications. You just want to kind of figure out what it is that you want to do with it. Also, there's Facebook. On the set of Facebook, you do not want to use hashtags uh, over extensively because a lot of times Facebook algorithms will catch you up and decide that you're spam. Or, you know, the other side of it is that a lot of times when people are looking at posts and they see a lot of hashtags, they're not really going to stop and take a look at that. Uh, it doesn't exactly appeal having blue letters all over, even if it might be eye catching. So as you scroll through, some people use them, some people don't. It really just depends. But you can, once again, go in here and you can see what exactly this hashtag's been used for. You can check out all the posts done by people you may know, people you don't know, uh, depending on if they run across it or found it useful. They may or may not be using it. It just depends on what the hashtag is, what its applicability is to what they're doing. Um, so, Always take an opportunity to look and see what kind of different content you can find. It might lead you to a new idea for a post. It might need, lead you to a new audience that you hadn't even considered before that might be interested in what you have to offer, uh, especially you know in relation to army opportunities and, and such. So once again, you can also look up people and so on based on the hashtags that they're using. Uh, there's a lot of different applications for it so always just be on the lookout for different ways that you can use hashtags and 
don't, like I said, don't overuse them. Uh, you definitely don't want to be um, tagged up as spam. Um, Facebook, I'd say one or two. Twitter, maybe as many as five, depending on what you're posting. And Instagram, you're going to want anywhere between 15 and 29. I usually use 27 for ours, and that's pretty successful as far as getting out there and getting people uh, to see our content. Other than that, uh, I hope that y'all have the best of luck with your hashtag use, and uh, have a wonderful recruiting day.